We know that Dr. Wells was in Berlin in um, uh, 1947 under General Lucius Clay and had a mandate to help um, secure Berlin, uh, the, the American part of Berlin. And he had uh, great concerns that a whole generation of students would be lost if they didn't have access to education. And so he helped establish, I think was the driving force behind the establishment of the Free University in Berlin. He acquired this painting in 1967 in London, unaware of its uh, history, and then in 1985 gave it to us. Well, it was a difficult decision, but it was the right decision from the beginning. Uh, we were contacted in 2004 um, by the Jagdschloss Grunewald, um, sending us documentation uh, from a book about the lost works of World War II. And they said, we believe you have this painting. And of course, my first thought was, you know, I looked at it and I thought, gee, that looks like that picture Dr. Wells gave us. <laughs> Uh-oh. So we did some very intensive research because, yes, it could be here and it could have originally been there, but how am I to know that it was illegally seized? Once we verified that their claim was accurate, we didn't wait for lawyers to come, we didn't go through a big legal wrangle, we immediately said, let's do this. We've got a very, very low survival rate. There have been wars, there have been a reformation, there have been all kinds of attacks, um, you know, damages to buildings of one kind or another that house these things, changes in taste. So the very fact that it survives at all makes it important. We do very careful examination of the records of ownership of a work of art. And if we find that it's been, uh, comes from suspect uh, origins, it is our job to contact uh, the particular country that it comes from or the last known owner of record and make sure that it's that it's that we're right in having it and if not it goes back and all museums are being more careful about that now Is the and I decided I wouldn't necessarily replace like with like because it's very difficult I said the survival rate of these works is so rare um, so I decided to look for gaps in the collection, and we happen to have a very strong German expressionist collection, but we didn't have a work by Gabriela Munter, who is the major female member of the German expressionist group, the Blaue Reiter. And um, I happened to run into one in Germany, as it happens, and was thrilled uh, that it was available on the market, legally exported. Our museum is a kind of a micro encyclopedia of the history of world art, and that includes German art. Um, it was nice to be able to have uh, strength in one area as we lost in another.